You know why? Because the people are hungry. Tell me about this Jesus. Tell me about the Jesus of Nazareth. Tell me about what happened to him. Tell me about the miracle. Tell me, can signs and wonder can happen today in this generation? Yes. Yes. But the, there's a problem. The problem today is that the church is living in the book of number. How many people we have. And they are not walking through the pages of the book of Acts. Where there's action, where there's goodness. You see, this, this, this moment, you might look some empty chair. If I'm a crowd maniac, you think I'm going to accept this meeting? If I'm a crowd maniac. Because a lot of people, if you don't have these kinds of people, I don't want to go. Sorry, my greatest moments in my life have been 32,000 feet when there's a, the captain find out that I'm in the airplane. He came in, just sit down close to me, said, you Nicky Cruz? I said, yes. I said, my wife love you. My wife read your book. My wife had poster of you because in that time there's a different poster. Then I went direct. What about you? You know he was honest. I'm a doctoress. Right straight. I'm a doctoress. And I just giving five minutes giving how Jesus Christ changed my life. And when I was telling how Jesus changed me, he started crying, the tears and tears and tears. And he tried to breathe deep and heavy, and then he grabbed my hand, put it in the front head, he said, pray for me. I need Jesus Christ. I need to go back to my wife and to my children. I can handle it no more. Please pray for me. And here the, the flare attendant, they, they were watching all of this commotion that was going on, and they were looking at us. And then uh, and then he, he wanted to talk. I said, excuse me, Captain. Would you please go back to the... <laughs> because I want to make it. In that time, I had to speak from Philadelphia. I had to fly to Los Angeles to speak in a Hollywood Palladium. I want to make it to Los Angeles. <laughs> so he went and he said, the court pastor, this is the Holy Spirit at work. And you know what? The co-pilot co got converted. <laughs> Not only that, there's a revival right there, 32,000 feet. The fly attender. <laughs> Sit down and say, excuse me, I'm married. <laughs> and she said, what's the matter with the captain? What's the matter with the co-pilot? I said, well, then give the heart to Jesus. And I, you need Jesus too. Yes, I need Jesus. And I pray for her. The Holy Spirit is at work in any place, no matter where you are. If you are born again and you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you have the authority to speak about the Christ that has changed your life. And there's power in the world when you speak it with honesty and be sincere. And transparent. That's what it takes. 